Hi guys, this is Miles from gymandfitnessequipment.co.uk, importers of Force USA equipment into Europe and the United Kingdom. Today I'm coming to you from our international showroom um, with the sales director. Hi guys, my name is Basil. I'm from Fitness Network and as Miles said, he's here at my international showroom. And we're going to be running you through the dimensions of the G12. Yeah, perfect. So Basil, I think one of the biggest questions that we've had in the UK is the height. I'm not yes. too sure if you know that, but in the UK we live in slightly smaller houses than in South Africa and yes. Australia and, and America. So um, ceiling heights tend to be very, very tight. So I get this question all the time, Miles, what is the ceiling height that we're going in? Well, let's have a measure. Let's have a Great. look, guys. So we're going to go to the highest point of the G12, which is this back pulley over here. I'm just going to hold it in place for Miles. And Basil, that is 223 centimeters. 223 centimeters, guys, but please be careful and take into consideration that this unit is standing on a 15 mil VersaFlip flooring, which you can, of course, buy from Miles in the UK. It's a product of force. So that's 15 mils, which you need to add to the height of your machine. Yeah. So that will take you up another 1.5 centimeters. Okay, so Basil, do you want to repeat that height again, Miles? Yeah, so 223. 223, guys, and our dimensions are in centimeters, not inches or millimeters, it's in centimeters. So 224 and a half if we've got a little bit if of matting. If we've got a little bit of matting, correct. So that's the highest point. So that's a question that I've had from the guys in, in terms of the highest point yes. is um, what, it, are there areas where they could have a ceiling a little bit lower? Can they? have a sloping ceiling where part of the machine can go under an area that is lower than 223. Not on the G12, reason for that is it's flat on the top. So there's no higher points, that was the highest point. So the G12 actually does not slope. So that would not matter. Like, okay, cool. So I think one of the next questions is going to be the internal, internal working measures. area. So, so let's have a look there. So, I'm getting to 123 centimeters. That's quite a nice broad. That is a nice for squatting, yeah. benching. You, yeah. you won't feel cramped in the unit. Miles, while we did, so it was 123 centimeters internal. Yeah. A lot of people might have the question how far is it on the outside of the post? Yeah, that will be a question. 133 and a half. 133 and a half centimeters. Yep. So that would be the working machine. Should we go to the actual width of the machine? Total width is the width of the Smith machine bar. Carry. And bearing in mind, that you want a couple of centimeters on each side of that bar in order to be able to put the weights on. So, so, the, so what we're giving you now is actually the width of the machine, but you still need probably five to 10 centimeters on each side. Carry it. So let's have a look here. So 202 centimeters. 202, bear in mind like what Miles said, add on your measurements below the weight plates. Great. Um, now we want to do the depth of the machine. We're going to do the depth of the machine. So we're going to go from the furthest part in the front, which extends on the front safety arms to so the back. Just another interesting question there, as, as we're doing this depth, yes. is that one of, the, as I said, one of the questions that I've had, not only about the ceiling height, but whether somebody is able to back this machine more into a corner or into an area that is narrower. And of course, the answer is yes to that answer is that you've seen that it's the Smith machine that is actually the highest point. Correct. But then of course the back of the machine can be backed up because there's no lap pulled out attachment on the back of it. So what I'd like to do, what I'm going to suggest is let's put this weight onto here and I can show you how far back you could push this into a cupboard or into a more narrow space at the back. So, oops, there we go, that's my small piece of my head so it's going to come <laughs> off there. Okay. okay, so if you were to back this in, you would be able to back in approximately 57 centimetres. 57 centimetres. So you could back it in about 57 centimetres. Correct. Total depth of the machine. So what, but that is the front safety, is that yeah. right? That's the front safety, the furthest part out in the front. And this takes us past just just on 150. 150 centimeters, but do bear in mind you would still need space to take the safeties off the machine 
because it does come in with a pin, so you'll still need centimeters to take it out of the system. And I think it would be very uncomfortable to try and squat and do power movements if your wall is right over here. Correct. So that would make it a little bit too tight. Um, Basil, we then we brought in this uh, Mr. Um, Mr. Fit Bench. Mr. Fit Bench, which is the slightly bigger one for Force USA. Correct. Um, Basil, uh, there are two benches that we've got in the UK. Yes. We've got the, uh, the Fit Bench yes. and the Mr. Fit. Correct. So I, I think, and I'm not too sure whether you agree with me with your experience, but we found certain people, maybe the, some of the stronger guys, the taller guys, bigger guys, uh, um, maybe, maybe not that big, but I quite enjoy this bench. Sure. Um, but we've had some people who have said they'd like something a little to lower, the, lower the ground, to the ground, correct, which is the fit bench. Very, both sturdy, strong benches. The nice thing about the Mr. Fit bench that we got here in the system, it comes with two attachments with it in the box. A right. creature curl attachment and a leg extension leg curl attachment. With the fit bench, you have to purchase these attachments extra. Okay, good value bench. Good value bench, and now we're going to give you the dimensions of how much you would need to fit the bench in the system. Right, perfect. So I've got the bench at a comfortable range inside the machine. So we are going to go from the furthest back point, which was in the front of the pulley here, and that was 150 centimeters. So we're going to go from the front of this pulley out. Edge of the until bench. the edge of the bench, which is approximately 67 centimeters. 67 centimeters, but bear in mind you are going to be doing a leg extension or a preacher curl. So, so we like to say approximately one meter from, from the, the front edge of that. Correct. Great. Basil, I think we've covered the, the main dimensions. Um, we will be going through a walkthrough video and comparison videos. Uh, in a separate series on YouTube and on the website, so please have a look for those. Um, but we will be moving on to one of the other machines now. Um, so that's Miles from Gym and Fitness Equipment.co.uk, importers of Force USA, and Basil from Fitness Network South Africa here in the international showroom. Super, see you guys just now. Thanks, guys.